You are now watching a production by the Remmer Pentecostal Church Media TV. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and may God bless you.
Excellent is your name. Yes, Lord. Marvelous is your name. Yes, Lord. Who can challenge your supremacy? Who can be compared unto you? Master designer. You design our situation to your space. You are preparing us for yourself. For you are coming soon. You are coming to take us home. You are Jehovah. You change us not. What you say you would do. You make sure that you do it. You say behold I'm coming soon. And you will come. For you are not a son of man. That speak a word. And you will not do it. Daddy will worship you. Daddy will honor you. Daddy will worship you. From January to this day, many great men, great women, richer than we are, have died and perished and gone. But you did not squeeze our life out of our body because you have a purpose for us. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Baba. Ejahi, that was it. We worship you. Speak through me, oh God. Your children have gathered here today to hear your voice. Speak through me. As you spoke in the voice of Eli to Samuel, so I bring your servants at the sound of my voice before you. If I speak, they will die and have no life. But if you speak through me, as you use the voice of Eli and spoke to Samuel, they will have hope. Amen. Even though Samuel had no inheritance in the kingdom and in the house of, of Eli, but because you spoke to him, you gave him hope and you built him a kingdom. Jesus. Lord, I pray that as I am speaking right now, it's not my voice. Let my voice turn into your voice and speak to your children. Amen. Prepare our heart for your coming. Yes, in Yeshua's name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Greet somebody near you and say, get ready for the word of God. Come on, give a person a hug. Just give a person a hug and say, get ready for the word of God as you are sitting down with your seat. Amen. When I listen to testimonies, as we had testimonies coming today, I'm telling you, this is the beginning. Yes. Say to anybody, this is the beginning. The enemy cannot hold you anymore. Amen. God is preparing you to enjoy this planet Earth before you come back. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. Whatever the enemy has spoken through people to you, I'm here to assure you that it will never come to pass. Amen. It shall never come to pass. Amen. For we serve a mighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still talking about the day of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Last week we started part one nicely. And today I want to talk about the coming. Because Christ will come first. Before the final day of judgment will come. And I want you to understand. That gathering here together as we heard before. That the Bible says we should prepare our treasure in heaven. Yeah, that's right. You know, one thing that I know is that there is no locusts or what? Worms or things that will destroy your treasure if they are stored in heaven. Material things can never be used in heaven. Never. But God wants you to use them here and as you use them here for his kingdom he transfer it and he put it on your account Amen. hello somebody Amen. coming to church even when you come to church it's also go on your account mm. whatever you do because God's servant speaks and your honor it's go on your account for disobedience will not inherit the kingdom of God no. that is the word of God it's not the word of Bishop Owusu so I believe that today as we are going to continue our subject, we will take note that God is coming back. Amen. 
you know why you are not convinced? Because you think that it will not come. Open your Bible to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3. I'm reading from the New King James Version. 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 10, go on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the element will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Say burned up. Burned up. Verse number 11 said, Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you and I to be in holy conduct and godliness? Verse 12 said, Looking for and handing the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens, say heavens, will be dissolved, be on fire, and the element will melt with favorite heat. You know the question mark? Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to the promise, look for the new heaven and a new earth in which righteousness dwell. Did you go that word? Yes. He said, nevertheless, verse 13, even though heaven and the earth will be melted and it shall pass away. Don't forget, the Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away. But those who do the word of God shall live forever. If heaven and earth is passing away, then how can you live forever? Where are you going to stand? My brothers and sisters, today I want to assure you, don't listen to what people are saying. I was listening to one of our brothers in Ghana making noise on YouTube. Thank God not everybody can make noise on YouTube. <laughs> Hello? Any nonsense person will try to make sense on YouTube. Why? Because now YouTube have made it nice that you don't need special cameras to record. As you are recording, it's coming live. Social media have made it possible for people just to speak their useless mind. I'm sorry to say that, but I will say it. It's useless mind. The Bible says the kingdom message is foolishness for those who are perishing. So anyone who don't concord with the word of God is useless. And the Bible says have nothing to do with them. Because they don't buy into your ideology. When you speak this way, they say, Bishop, today what are you talking about? Yes, I'm talking about serious things because the Bible says what we read last week, he said many false prophets will come. Some people don't call themselves prophets, they call themselves teachers. So that they say, ah, prophets are, you know, are now bad, so I'm a teacher. But the Bible says many false teachers will come. Some say, hey, I will not say I'm a teacher. I will say I'm an apostle. He said, many false apostles shall come. Some say, oh, no, no, I'm a bishop. Many false bishops will come. It doesn't matter the title. What they produce is what matters. Yes. Jesus said, by their deeds, you shall know them. I heard somebody saying, there is nothing going to happen. I look at the person, and I say to myself, a word that they say in my language, because the person is a Ghanaian who speaks my language, so let me speak my language. I say it's an or you can cheer. For the Bible says, or you can cheer the sin of But this one, if you doubt, or you can means what? Huh? Help me. What is in English? Foolish. Foolish person. Ah, a foolish? Higher than foolish. Yes. <laughs> in my language, you use that with yes. That means you are higher than foolish. When somebody challenges the word of Jesus Christ, your God, that means you don't believe in God. He said, I am coming to take you home. And somebody said, forget about what they are saying. He said, a white man came to steal our gold in Africa and Asia. So, if heaven is gold, and if there is heaven, 
Why should a white man give us a Bible to show us that we are going to heaven and they themselves will come and steal physical gold? That's why he was trying to make sense that some people are following him yeah. saying, yes, he's right. Yeah. Yes, he's right. All these things are the signs for you to know that the Antichrist has come. Amen. Amen. You hear the scripture, the Lord's Supper scripture. He said, even though the enemy was sitting down there, he did not stop the determined plan of God concerning us. Are you with me, somebody? Yes. Yeah. Now, Peter said, as you heard that he will be coming, he is coming and it will come like a thief. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Jewish Messiah, the savior of mankind, he is coming like a thief. He is coming like a thief. There is a difference between a thief and an armed robber. Christ is not coming like an armed robber. He is coming like a thief. Armed robber attack you physically daylight. And he will take it by force, by fire. Amen. And now, many Christians are sitting down. They are armed robbers. Because they take from God. God is watching and they are sailing from God. They are tired. God said, I'm robber. When a man robbed me. And let, me, let me add it to that. So now, Christ is not coming like I'm robber. He will come like a thief. He is not a thief. He himself said, the hour that you are not expected, that is the hour that the groom will come for the bride. The groom is coming to take the bride. He used a Jewish tradition whereby the groom come unexpectedly to pick his bride and take him for the celebration. Hello, somebody. Christ is coming. Either you like it or not, Christ is coming. He is coming soon. Hallelujah. If heaven is not our home, then what can we do? Heaven is real. Apostle Peter said, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, according to the promise of Yeshua HaMashiach, he said he is coming. So Peter said, we look forward. We look for the new and a new heaven and a new earth in which righteousness lives or righteousness dwells. When you read the Revelation chapter 21, you can see the revelation that God revealed to John the Revelator. He said, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. I saw the new Jerusalem prepare like a bride for the groom. I saw the new Jerusalem. Jesus said, I am going and I will not leave you as an orphan. I will come back to you. And where I am, there you will be. So we have assurance in God. Somebody said then, eh, when you accept Jesus Christ, just look forward for heaven. Don't, all this prayer, prayer, prayer should stop. Think. He himself said, to obtain the kingdom. Ah, from the day, since the day of John the Baptist. Christ said, said the kingdom of God suffer violent and those who are violent take it by force. When we talk about kingdom of God, let me divert a bit. There is difference between kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. That's right. So many of you are fighting for kingdom of heaven. That is why you are poor on this earth. That is why the enemy is tossing you here and here. That is why your marriage is being collapsed. That is why a man who proposed to you and three months before the marriage, he changed his mind. Because you are fighting for heaven. Because heaven, there is no marriage. Heaven, you don't need the currency here, money. So you can live wretched life. And before you see, you curse God and your name is removed from the people who are going to heaven. Jesus said the kingdom of God suffer violence. When you come to Christ, he put you in his kingdom on earth. He said that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Where? Where is it coming? This earth. On earth. So if you are looking for the kingdom of God, it's not in heaven. If you are looking for the kingdom of God, it's not where? It's on this earth. That is 
why people are illiterate and ignorant about the word of God and they are misinterpreting the scripture. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's right. In the Holy Ghost. So you have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. So, and begin to Baba. I resist you, Satan. I take authority. You take the authority on earth and you rule on earth. You enjoy good marriage. You enjoy good money. You enjoy good car. You think the big, big car they are making. God don't want you to drive. Jesus, somebody said, Jesus was humble. He didn't have so much money like now preachers are talking about money, money, prosperity. You know, me tell you, I preach about the deliverance, I preach about the, the prosperity, and I preach about, do you want me to pro, uh, preach about poverty? No. Prosperity because Jesus Christ sat on the donkey. In those days, it was like the Mercedes Benz. Are you getting me? Yeah. Now, when you become born again, you have received power and authority. Say power and authority. Power and authority. You should command what is not there. What is not there to come. Amen. That is power in the kingdom. So the kingdom of God, you must enjoy it on this earth. Amen. That is the power and authority. You will not allow Satan to rule you on earth. You will rule Satan and enjoy the earth. Amen. The righteous are inherit the earth. This is the earth. Amen. Then we are talking about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Picking people to where he promised us that he's going to prepare for us. That is called the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So there are two things that people misinterpret. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of yes. heaven. I must enjoy the kingdom of God on earth. That's right. Amen. Those who don't enjoy the kingdom of God on earth, they miss heaven. They miss what? Heaven. <laughs> Are you going to be somebody? Amen. So sit down there and let some witchcraft take control over you. <laughs> and tell me that me, I don't want problem, I'm going to heaven. Heaven though, they will shut it. Because your poverty and your hardship will block the door. Most of Africans have belief that me, I just want to go to heaven. You, uh, they will go to jail two four seven, looking for heaven. Yeah, yeah, yes. And they are poor. And the blessing that they say your inheritance build from here. God wants you to live a good life so that you can help here on His job. And while you were working on this earth, you are building your your this thing in that heaven. Amen. Amen. While you win souls for Christ, you bring people to church. You teach them to stay. You help them to enjoy the kingdom of God on earth. God put a star on you in heaven. Read your scripture. The whole month you are going to deal with this. Now, Peter said, we are hoping for the heaven. The place where righteousness dwells. Now, let's go further. Let's go further and see what Peter was trying to say. Verse number 14. He said, therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent. Be what? Diligent. Be diligent to be found by him in peace. Without spot and Blameless. Verse 15. And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. As also our beloved brother Paul. <laughs> According to the wisdom gave to him has written to you. Peter was complimenting who? Apostle Paul. Because the letter that he wrote, he was complimenting the church. That is why now ministers should stop attacking ministers. But we should compliment the good ones. Amen. Amen. Compliment. When Reverend Ann says something that is good, I stand here. I say according to what Reverend Ann said. When Apostle was speaking Friday, I compliment most of the words that he spoke, isn't it? Yeah. Was it his words? No. The words I speak, are they my words? No. no. They are the words of God. God. Now, what compliment? Verse 16. He said, As also in all his epistles, mm. speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand. Hallelujah. Let me jump to verse 17. 
You therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, be aware, lest you also fall from your own steadfastness. Since you know all these things, be aware. You know that Christ is coming, be aware. You know that the false teachers are coming, be aware. You know that he will come like a thief, so be aware. Don't allow anyone to take your crown. Hallelujah. Say, I will never allow anyone to take my crown. Go on your Facebook and unfollow all those who oppose Christ and his coming. Go inside your phone and delete all friends who oppose Jesus Christ and his coming. The Bible says, what have their light to do with darkness? Nothing. They should not be your friends, but you can give them the word of God. Yes. You go to them, give them the word, come back. Don't let them trace you. Yes. Hello? Yes. Remember Psalm 1. Blessed are those who does not sit, stand, walk. In the council of an ungodly. Somebody say, me, I will marry an ungodly man and I will bring him to Christ. Yeah. Somebody say, I will marry an ungodly wife and I will bring him to Christ. Yeah. I heard a word yesterday and I was shocked. Apostle, you want say it? A pastor in Ghana went and found a very beautiful woman who was a fitting priest. Yes. I will continue. continue. You know, 50 priests are the Sangoma. Sangomas. And what? Nandas. Nandas. And what? Native doctors. Native doctors. <laughs> but this native doctor was so beautiful. Uh, this is a, in Ghana. A true story. So he said, No, 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 I can't let this beautiful woman bypass me. He prayed, prayed, prayed. He said, But the Bible said the desire of a righteous man shall cannot be granted. <laughs> you know, people use the scriptures and they turn it around. He said, But my Bible said, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches. I, I have the power and authority. I, I, did you see me? I cast out this demon last time. I cast out this one. I, I will marry this woman. And when I finish, I will cast out the demon and she will be born again. That's right. Isn't it a good idea? Good one. Ah, he went to have a very big wedding in Accra. I mean, his friends advised him, he said, you people, your faith are small. You don't know. They just shall live by faith. That's right. Don't be deceived by what your knowledge are telling you. The Bible says, have nothing to do with them. God could have said, I'm a lovely God. Get all of them and bring. have nothing in common to do with them. Don't forget, go to the Israelites. Even if they send them away, with their children. With their what? Children. Children. <laughs> People say that is the Old Testament. Now we are in the new world. The guy did the wedding, beautiful wedding. He was praying, Shaka Baba, the woman start coming to church. They say, I didn't I tell you. I will change this woman. Now as I'm talking to you now, the pastor is a fifty priest. <laughs> Abuso, are you there? Abuso, you have a witness in the house? The pastor is now a fifty priest. No more church. He now preaches and says, you know, they are all the same. Ah! Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. The Bible says, therefore, beloved, since you know this, beforehand be aware lest you also fall from your own selfishness be led away with the error of the wicked be led away let led away let me bring the normal english he said my brothers and sisters be careful that you don't fall be careful that someone will not hold your hand someone will not hold your mind someone will not hold your ideology and pull you away from the truth I'm telling you when you don't have money and somebody tell you I have money and I can help you you don't take care you follow hey I have a lot of things to tell you Apostle, let me tell them another one. <laughs> Do you know that we are raising money and we are celebrating our seven years yes. and we need just 300,000 pounds to buy the church building? Yes. Somebody told me, man of God, don't worry at all. <laughs> just 300,000. Mm. Don't worry. This guy is an evil man. 
He said, don't worry, oh God. Don't worry. Just give me the church account. I will send you 1.5 million pounds. And this will come direct into the church account. And you know what? I will just do it now from Lagos. And you will get the money. This is not 419 money. This is a clean money that will be in your account. But you know what? That money I'm sending to you. You will give me 50%. I know. You give me what? 50%. So 50% of one point what? Is, is, is how much? 750. So that means we have got our 750,000. And we can buy any building and change any how we want. So when the person told me this, I look at Apostle. Apostle look at me. And we say, the Bible says, the Bible says it's better <laughs> with what? A handful of bread with peace than, than a bowl of soup without peace. Hallelujah. A good name is better than wealth. Are you getting me? He said, be careful that someone will not lead you. Now, this guy, you have 1.5 million. It's for you. Take it. Keep it. Why do you want to give to my church? Yeah. Then take half. Then take half. <laughs> so wisdom must speak to you. Yes. That there is a question mark yes. on that money. Yes. And I asked somebody, and the person said, Bishop, we have a name for it. Mm. And I said, what is the name? He said, we call it wash wash. But I said, is it true? Yahoo, Yahoo. Yahoo, Yahoo. Ah, Yahoo, Yahoo, wash wash. He said, hey, your church, we are giving us a donation. And when you get it, you just give us half. And he said, more oh, come. will come. Oh. He said, we have a lot. I have a lot here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Just that I cannot, I can buy things with it. But I can't keep as my own. But when it comes to you and you give me that half, nobody will trace that half. Mm -hmm. And one person said, I can even let you use it here and buy houses for me in London. Then some selfish men of God will say, He bought out my bread, sugar, my cocoa. So, so what <laughs> that? <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. He said, Be aware, be careful that someone will not mislead you. Someone should not pull you. Somebody will come to you, oh, my dear, you know why you are not getting married? Because the enemy is fighting you. I know somebody, prophet, somewhere, that when you go to the prophet, he will give you a handkerchief. Yes. Be careful with handkerchief. And they will quote for you. And you don't know, even Paul pray over handkerchief. And he give to people, hey, are you Paul? <laughs> so-called pastors who phone the orders. Mama can testify. There was a woman who everything was going down. Some of you know the woman. He, was, he came to our church from Zimbabwe. And when she came, educated woman. Everything was going down. And we met this woman. And when we were praying, God revealed to me. He said, all her problem is in her house. So we went to Nottingham, to the house. <coughs> And when we went, some of you were with us. And the Lord, I said, God, I have come to the house. But where is the problem? God said, tell her to bring the bottle of water that she have in her house with stone inside. Let him bring it. And I said, bring it. He said, no, 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 for that one, I received from a prophet. Mm. Prophet. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? This woman, they have even tell her to go away from the country with the children. The woman brought it. God said, yes, that prophet is connected to the sea. So anytime they look into the altar, the stone locates you. Then we destroy it. When we destroy it, it didn't take three, four days. Letters began to come from home office. Somebody who had been illegal for all this work. Now, they went to court. The judge himself defended them. Yeah. And they gave all of them stay. Yeah. And now they all have to read his passport. Yeah. Be, careful. Be, careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. That someone will not lead you away. Who 
Who told you that you must marry today by fire by force? Who told you? It's marriage in heaven. Who told you, you must have children? Who told you everyone who gets married must have children? Which Bible says that when you marry, the next step is children? Who told you? The Bible says children are inheritance yes. from God. He gives to the people who he thinks he will give. Somebody can have 20. Somebody have nothing. It doesn't matter. Yes. Some cannot take care. God look at you. If I give you my inheritance, can you take care of them? Mm. You will give them to baby sitters and you will be chasing money. Yes. So I will not give it to you. And you will be crying, going to prophetess, going to juju, and all these things. Okay. Be careful that your, this thing will not lead you to somewhere. A pastor of mine told me a story when I was in South Africa. He was complaining, God, my church, we have just 300 people. Just what? 300 people. He spoke to his other so-called friend. He thought he was a friend. He have over 1,000 people and money is flowing. Mm. Be careful that no one deceive you. Amen. We hear a lot. That's why not everyone we are allowed to stand on this pulpit to preach to you. And any man of God that I bring, ah, I still as you are preaching, I am putting my leg down, praying to God. God connect me again. When he was coming, I don't know where he passed. I want to know if he is really from you. Amen. Amen. He said, You are going for fasting. Mama, you remember? So you, so do you fast? Fast. You still fast. What did he say? He said you. He said, do you still fast for miracle? Uh huh. I will show you. Uh, nowadays we don't fast. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, he, he said nowadays we don't fast. Do you still fast for miracle and growth of the church? For money? Nowadays we don't fast. He said, come and I will show you. And he began to tell him things. One of the things. Ah. Even the small one is killing certain things. Either you kill human being or you kill cow. a cow. And what you bring will kill the cow as the mongols are coming out. So the one members will be coming to your church and money will be flowing in your church and miracle will be flowing. And when you speak to anyone, they cannot resist you. Even if you say cut your head and bring it, they will bring it. Go and eat glass, they will eat glass. Ah. I was shocked. Thank God I was with Reverend Al. And he's my brother. So he can't lie to me. He said he ran. <laughs> and after that, he deleted the number. He said, Ay, so this man, I'm thinking that I want my child to be like him, not knowing him. He is not by God. Mm. The man of God said, be careful. Be careful. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. as we are about to leave, as we are about to, leave. As we are about to go, as we are about to go. Remember this message. Remember this message. Heaven is real. Heaven is real. Jesus, is coming. Jesus is coming. Good prophets are there. Good prophets are there. But many false prophets are around. Many false prophets are Be aware, Be aware of, the dogs, of the dogs. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. It's Jesus who said it. Say, so be aware of the dogs. I mean, he called them what? Dogs. In German, they say, hund. Hund. He said, therefore, beloved, since you know this before time, don't tell God that God I didn't know. I know you have been hearing, 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 but today, the servant of God is telling you again. Since you know this before be aware, lest you also fall from your own selfishness, being led away with the error of the wicked. God didn't say the sin. He said error. Of what? The wicked. The wicked. 18. But grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Say to about grow. 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 Accept your growth. Mm. It's visible. Mm. Anyone will deceive you. Mm. Matthew 24 said, so be aware, be careful that no man deceive you. Matthew 24, when you go and read it all, that no one, uh, better let me stop here and we'll continue next week. Amen. Be aware Amen. that no one deceive you. Stand up on your feet. We will continue next week. That's right. Be aware that no woman deceive you. Amen. Be aware that no being deceive you. 
For many shall come in my name and say, I am the Christ. They will do miracles, signs, and wonders. Now, people love miracles more than anything. People like signs more than anything. I don't go to church because of miracle. I go to church because I want to go to heaven. I go to church because I want to have power over the powers of darkness so that I can live in the kingdom that God has created for me on this earth. I want you to put your hands on your chest and begin to tell God, this is my heart desire. Lord, help me that no one can deceive me. Lord, help me that no one will move me. Lord, help me that I will not move away from your love. Lord, help me that I will be the head and never the tail. Lord, help me that I will not be persuaded by any evil doer. Lord, help me that your arrows will not push me away. Help me, O oh Lord. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual understanding. Help me to grow from grace to grace. He said, the grace of God. Let the grace of God lift me up. Just begin to speak right now. 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 I don't know. Maybe you are here, you don't know Jesus Christ. You have not accepted him as a Lord and personal Savior. I will give you this opportunity. As people are praying, just lift up your hands and let me lead you to Christ. Maybe you have not accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior. Just lift up your hands. Hey, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you just as I am. From today, oh God, I know I'm a sinner. I come before you. Wash away all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Be my God and my Savior today. Guide me from righteousness to righteousness. Preserve me for your coming. Don't allow the enemy to triumph over me, oh God. Let me grow in this knowledge. And when you come, I will not miss your coming. I thank you, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody, just give a clap of front to the Lord right now. Just give a clap of the Lord right now. Just give a clap of the Lord right now. If you are here and your tithe is ready, just walk forward right now. Just walk forward. May God bless you.